afternoon, Todd Thornton here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm going to have the pleasure of showing you a 27 North Rex Rover 2023 model year. Uh, this is a little bit of a one-off. This was their show demo. It's got about 9,600 miles. Uh, if you're familiar with the Rex Rover that Dean did yesterday, going forward in 2024, they're going to be on the F350 with a quad cab. This one is a, I guess you would call this extended cab on an F250 model. So again, kind of a one-off. We'll start around, we'll walk around the coach and, and tell you a little bit about it. Um, like I said, it is built on the F2 Ford F2 uh, chassis on a Lariat package. It has 475 horsepower, powered by a Power Stroke 6.7 liter V8 with a 10 speed transmission. 475 horsepower at 1,050 torque. It is loaded up with, as you can see, the kind of the rhino lining. It's actually called a monolithic carbon fiber covering the whole coach, including the shell. You got a built-in winch. I think this was a 12,000 pound winch. Multiple lights, uh, you got the search lights up top, multiple lights down here for your fog lights, your standard lights. This one is on a, all the tires are 35 inch tires with an upgraded suspension. It's got the Weston Rock Guard uh, entry steps, so you can actually use them as a kind of a running board, and they are also for rock protection. As you can see inside the coach, it's your standard Lariat package, F-250, um, with the big digital dash, push start, high wheel, or uh, four wheel drive, high and low. You got all your light bars right here, down here on your switches. This turns on your light bars. The big search bars above the cab are um, to be turned on inside the coach. So you don't do that driving down the highway. Here's your extended cab. 27 North does a really nice job of embroidering the seats. So it kind of gives it a custom look. You got memory seats, all the Lariat package, standard stuff in here. Again, you got the carbon fiber shell. This is a monolithic one piece carbon fiber shell on the uh, build of it, if you will. So there is no seams on this coach. The ones you are seeing back here, these are literally for water runoff. So you don't have water coming down the side. If you get a water from the roof, it's gonna follow the seams down to the ground. You got a nice ladder to get up top. Up top there is a 600 watts of solar. Currently, the system actually will uh, adapt or hold up to 1200 watts. So we got 600 standard, 600 that can be added. Open this up. This is a the water bay. I've got the heater on right now, so you can feel this is nice and warm inside. But you've got two filters. You got one filter out here, and you got one under the kitchen sink. You've got a, what is this, got a 50, 55 gallon fresh water, 55 gallon gray water with a five gallon cassette. So if you're familiar with any of the videos we've done in the past with the Winnebago Revel and um, the Echo, this is the same cassette they're using on the Rex Rover. So very clean, easy to use take it out you can dump it uh, in an outhouse porta potty anywhere you don't actually have to go to a black uh, dump station to dump it got everything labeled very very nicely here so if you have problems with your faucet you can cut off the water to it um, you've got an outdoor shower here you got an international plug setup you'll see that throughout the coach uh, so if you're taking this over to Europe somewhere in there it's a compatible plug like I said, this is all heated, insulated. 
Up here we've got lockable uh, water stations. So your water fill, uh, you've got your lockable, this also locks. We're missing a gas cap, but this is, has a, I saw this earlier, this has a 88 gallon diesel storage or diesel tank, and you got your def fill. It is heated by a Truma combo system. That's gonna give you your hot water and your primary heat source, and it is on inside right now. As you can see, the upgraded suspension underneath. Move around you. When you look above us, it's got the dual pane acrylic windows. Uh, again, very similar to the Winnebago Revels. Uh, they're dual pane acrylic. Just gotta be careful with them because they do scratch. If you're using a brush or something, I always recommend using a carbon fiber towel. In here, you're gonna have your Xantrax 3000 watt inverter. So that's gonna give you enough power to power up your microwave, your induction cooktop, your uh, AC unit on top. You'll also have your solar controller. Like I said, it's got 600 watts up top. You have the capacity to add an additional 600 to give you 1200 total. All this is diamond plated, very well built, insulated. Over here is an access door to the Truma combo system. So if you have any issues with that, it's very easy to get in there and work on it, make some adjustments. Again, all the doors, every door is lockable. Moving around here, you've got your spare tire carrier, a box. Uh, you're going to have a, this one is not, does not have the built-in hitch down here, but they did add a small hitch here for a bike carrier or something like that, but it's not to tow a boat or anything like that. However, you can add it at a later date. It, this one just does not have it. One interesting thing is they have a camera right here. So when you're driving or backing up, there's a camera right there versus on top of the coach. Makes visibility pretty cool. Again, all the boxes are Rhino lined also. Here is for storage. It also comes with, uh, they removed it for whatever reason, it is going to come with a uh, refrigerator freezer type combo system in here. And it's also gonna come with a cooktop that goes right here. So you can cook outside, lock those. Yeah. Well, that thing slides out and there's a cooktop that goes there. Moving over to here, another storage bay here. When you open it up, the LED lights come on, all uh, heated in here, insulated diamond plate bottoms. So pretty awesome to store your goods. And here you're going to have your exterior smart TV Again, with your international plugs, you also have a 12 volt plug that's gonna power this TV. So if you got something on your, on your phone, you can put it into the TV, watch it outdoors. You are going to have a integrated awning, as you can see. So if you're driving through some brush, trees, you're not gonna catch your awning. It is built into the coach. Um, that will pull out about 10 feet. You've got your outdoor patio light and then obviously your door lights. You've got an air step here that's gonna have a button right here. Press this button and the steps are going to retract. And then when you're ready to use them, press it and they're gonna extend. As you can see, the door here, very nice little features. You got a little garbage can, trash waste basket. You got a day or a night shades right here and a handle to close the door. Let's come on in. Be careful, that's slickery. Slip, 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 slick. Whew. So inside this, let's shut the door. 
I'll shut the door behind you. And... So inside this Rex Rover, it is very spacious. It has a 10 or a seven foot ceiling. You have all the cabinets are steel or aluminum. So very well built, very spacious inside. You can see they're very, very strong and they're not going to warp on you. You got plenty of them. Like this one's just like that one, but see, we'll go around the coach and show you some different ones. That one, again, solid. Back here, you're going to have the lots of windows. So you're going to have the dual pane acrylic windows on each three sides here that can open up. You also have the day or the uh, screens built in and you also have the night shades built in. Now this is set up for the table right now. Um, this is a queen bed when we turn it into the bed version. Basically you take this table off, lay it down here. There's three posts underneath here or behind me right here that connect here and these cushions will lay across. So uh, it makes it into a queen bed. If you want to step around here on this wall, you're going to have your LG Smart TV with the Bose soundbar, so you can uh, connect your phone to it. You can watch movies off your phone. You can watch uh, use use the Bluetooth bar, listen to radio. Below there's your uh, Truma combo system. That's going to give you your hot water and the heat that's providing right now. You've got above us a Dometic 12 volt AC unit. So it'll keep this coach very nice and cool in the summertime and obviously the trim was keeping it very warm in the wintertime. It's probably single digits out right now and it's pretty warm in here. You've got a turn right here. You've got a nice stainless steel sink. They've done some nice things here. You've got your uh, soap dispenser, stainless steel sink with a hose. Um, if you're prepping stuff and water runs off, it's got a nice water drip system right here that kind of keeps the water from going off. It'll hold it into this little track. Underneath here, you've got 900. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this without making a mess. Lift this up. You got 900 amp hours of lithium batteries, 300 amp hours each. And as I was saying, when you turn this into a bed, there's little tracks over here that you pull out these little, these three tracks and you lay them across here to give you support with cushions. As you can see, access to that outdoor one. This back down. Then we're back into our table. We're back into the table setup. In here you have a little Dometic 12 volt refrigerator with a small freezer up here. You've got a little 700 watt microwave, adequate for small meals, hot water, coffee. And then they've done a beautiful job using every part of this coach for external or extra storage. Again, big closet here. So you can hang all your jackets, clothes, you name it in there. Uh, right here, before we move there. Again, all aluminum. These are beautiful, heavy duty drawers. Check out in there. Now this one was optioned in with the small, <laughs> the world's smallest uh, washer and dryer setup. So this is a um, converter to convert it over to 220 watt to support this little guy. This is the small washer and dryer. So you can throw a couple, couple shirts, pair of jeans in there, dry them, you name it. Over here, you got your, just a kind of a, a steel bar that you can hook magnets to, kind of do different types of shelving. 
uh, just makes hanging your tools, that type of stuff from it. Your utensils, I should say. All the bars are light bars that have little push button on the end. Now again, this is a one-off model because in 2024 they are changing this a little bit. Let's go here. This is the wet bath. So you've got your toilet connecting to the 12 volt cassette. Uh, and it's turned sideways right now, but turning into a shower, you can take a shower in here. The water is going to drain no matter what angle you're on. The light up there has two speeds for the fan. You can see up there, so you can do a high and a low fan setting. And this coach, I didn't uh, tell you yet, this coach is rated to minus 25 for extreme cold and up to 125 degrees in the summertime. So here you have a very, very large king bed set up again, all insulated. You got your uh, kind of your night light type thing. That also has the screens and the nightshades. Over here on the TV back here, you've got a smart TV and multiple lights, adjustable lights up top. So if you want to watch TV while you're sleeping, Huge, huge bed though. Let's see. Down here, you're going to have an access port to connect the cab to the back of the coach. So those seats can lay down. And if you're not too big and a little agile, you can make your way to the back. I always say it's great because if you lay those down, put your dog crate over there. It's a great place for your dog to, to sleep. You got your ladder here that can come out. It mounts right there to get up into the king bed and then you can use that as a coat hanger, hang your hats, whatever. I'll switch positions with you. Up here you're going to have the brains of the coach if you will. So this is your control station, everything beautifully labeled again with some master emergency switches they're calling them. So these are basically analog overrides for this system if it were to fail. So you'll still be able to do your lights, still be able to do your furnace, um, your refrigerator, your water pump, all that stuff overrides. You also have some built-in breakers. You got your master switches, master disconnect switches, and then your smart camper manager, which is going to connect to this. And this is where you'll do all your lights. Um, so if you click on here, you can do the, you can dim your lights, turn off your lights, all that good stuff. This will also control your air conditioning. It controls everything except the Truma heat system, which is on the back wall there. You also have the uh, battery display up here. I don't know why that one's not coming on, but that's normally where the battery will show. Right now we're at 900 amp hours. It'll show 840 still left, that type of stuff. Over here, confirm, it shows the outdoor temperature, house battery conditions, solar batteries, uh, time, all that good stuff. Different settings, so. It can also be downloaded, I believe, on an app, so you can follow it on your app. You can also access stuff on your app. You have a little small camera here that is wired into the camera next to the driver's seat or the main display. So if you're driving and you got, I don't know, maybe your kids are back here, your dog's back here, you can see what's going on in the back while you're driving. You've got a pull-out shelf here, a pull-out uh, thing. Now this one comes with an induction cooktop that has been removed. Um, they are sending us a new one. It will set right here and you can plug it in here so you can cook right here and have plenty of surface to work there this is the great big search bar on the front of the coach you saw those six lights on the very top of the coach this is the power button for it you also have your awning lamp you have your um, your electric awning the awning power you've got your step power and your awning lamp 
very well thought out coach. Um, oh, one thing before we walk out, it also has the built in screen right here. Again, a very well thought out coach. Very, I mean, it's it's really cold out right now. It's very comfortable in here. Um, this is a new product for us and True North or 27 North. So we're all still getting to use it or getting to, used to telling about it. Like I said, this is a one-off coach versus the one that Dean showed yesterday or day before. Day before, um, this is a um, extended cab versus a quad cab. This is an F250 versus an F350. Um, so guys, bear with us. There's going to be mistakes. Um, some of the stuff that True Norse put out and some of the stuff that they've told us doesn't match up what's on the internet. Um, so they're also uh, they're constantly changing, listening to the customers. So uh, bear with us. If you have any questions on this, give us a shout. Uh, my phone number and my email are right there. I will try to answer as best I can. If I don't have the answer, I will get with our rep. Um, but an exciting product. So if you have any questions, give me a shout. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in today and we look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks guys.